Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to draw the stuffing box assembly using SolidWorks. In stuffing box, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and a nut. So totally we have 5 components. So we are not going to draw the shaft. So except shaft, we have 5 components. So I am going to start from the first component called body. Open SOLIDWORKS, click new and create a new part. So select the top plane and click sketch. So to view it in the top plane, the dimensions of this bottom region is not given. So roughly I am going to take 150 and 80 mm. So I am going to draw a center rectangle and to mark the dimension go to smart dimensions and the height is 80 and the length is 150. Then extrude it for 15 mm. Now click the sketch, click sketch and draw a circle with the diameter of 66 mm. Go to features Click extrude boss and extrude it to 50 mm. Then select the surface, click sketch and draw an ellipse. So to draw the ellipse, select the ellipse, click the center point and click the x direction and click the y direction. Now go to smart dimensions, click these two points and the distance is 72 mm. Similarly in the x direction, the distance is given as 120 mm. Now it is not fully constrained. So click control, select the center point and select this edge and make it as horizontal. Now go to features, click extrude boss and extrude this to 15 mm. Next, I am going to draw a central hole. So select the surface, click sketch and draw a circle with the diameter of 42 mm. Go to features, click extrude I'm sorry, click extruded cut and extrude this up to this surface. Then click OK. Now select this surface, click sketch and draw another circle with a diameter of 33 mm as given in the drawing. So go to features, click extrude cut and extrude this up to the bottom surface. Next I am going to draw the bolt, select the surface, click sketch and draw a hole and the diameter is given, so it is M12 bolt, so I am drawing a 12 mm hole and the distance from the center is 84 divided by 2. So now it is not fully constrained so click control, click the center point of the circle and the origin and make it as horizontal. Now go to features, click extruded cut and extrude this up to this surface. Click OK. 
Next, I am going to create the thread. Go to Hold Wizard and select Thread. Select this edge and select the starting point of the thread. And next, click here and select the end point of the thread. So here we have to extrude the thread and we can click trim with the start face and trim with the end face then click OK. Now we have created the thread. So next I am going to mirror this. So go to mirror and first one we need to select the face or the plane about which we are going to make the mirror. So here I am going to select the right plane and in futures I am going to select the cut extrude and the thread. Click OK. So now we have created the first part. So we can apply the material. So the material is given as CI. So go to iron and I am going to apply grey cast iron. Click apply and click close. So now you can save this. So I am creating a new folder. The part number is 1. Now you can close this. Click new and create a new part. Next I am going to draw the second component that is gland. So select the top plane, click sketch and draw a circle with a diameter of 42 mm. Go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to 45 mm. Now select the surface, click sketch and draw an ellipse. So select the ellipse, click the center point, select any one point in the x direction and in the y direction. Now go to smart dimension and the distance between these two points is given as 72 and in the y direction it is 120. Now cl click control, select the origin and select any one of the point and make it as horizontal. Now go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a height of 15 mm. Now click this surface, click sketch and select a circle with the diameter of 50 mm. Now go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a height of 9 mm as given in the drawing. Next I am going to draw a central hole, so select the surface, click sketch and draw a circle. with the diameter of 24 mm. Now go to features, click extruded cut, then cut up to this surface, then click OK. Next I am going to create the holes here. So click the surface, select sketch and draw a hole and the diameter is given as 13 mm. Then the distance between these two centers is 84 by 2. Now select control, select the center point and select the origin and make it as horizontal. Now go to features and extrude at cut. Then extrude this up to the next surface. Click OK. Now there is no thread here. So I am going to mirror this. Go to mirror and initially select the plane. So here this is right plane and future is the cut extrude. Then click OK. Next I am going to apply the material. So here the material is given as brass. So select edit material 
and go to copper alloys click brass click apply and close now i have applied the material next finally we have to cut a region here so select either the front plane or the right plane click sketch and select the center point arc okay so select a center point here then select a point in the x direction and in the y direction now to mark the dimensions i am going to draw a center line so you can move this and you will find the center here so this is my center and i am going to mark the dimensions from the center line so this distance is given in the drawing as 46 by 2 so 46 in the diametral direction and this distance is given as 12 mm and the radius of this curve is also given it is 12 mm now it is fully constrained so to cut the section i am going to close the region okay now go to features click revolve cut and click okay then we have to provide a chamfer here so go to chamfer and select this edge now the distance of the chamfer is 9 mm because this thickness is 9 mm and the angle is given as 15 degree so we can change this then click ok now we have completed the second part so select save and the part name is 2 now we can close this create a new part next I am going to draw the third part that is bush so create a new part so to draw the bush I am going to select the front plane click sketch so initially draw the outer profile of the bush then mark the dimensions this is 24 by 2 and this distance is 33 by 2 then height of this region is 15 then height of the second region is 6 mm and the overall diameter is 42 so 42 by 2 next to mark the angle I am going to draw a construction line here in the vertical direction now go to smart dimensions then the inclination is given as 15 degree then click control select the origin and select this edge and make this as horizontal now it is fully constrained so next I am going to revolve this for that I am going to create a central line then go to features click revolve to boss and select the axis then click ok now the material is given go to edit material and go to copper alloys and select brass then click ok and close now we can save this as part number 3 then close this next I am going to draw the part number 4 so go to part and create a new part select the front plane click sketch and draw one side of the stud 
so i am drawing the outer profile of the right side then go to smart dimensions so the diameter is actually given as 12 so this is the radius so 6 mm and this distance is 24 in diameter so 24 by 2 and here also the radius is 6 mm then the height of this region is given as 15 so here you can click this point and you can move it then select smart dimension then the second region is 5 mm and the height of the third region or otherwise we can directly mark the overall dimension overall height that is 90 mm click ok then go to features click revolved boss and select the center point then click ok so next I am going to create the thread go to hold wizard and click thread so select the starting edge and the starting surface so don't select the end condition because the length of thread is given so the length is given as 58 mm then click ok similarly go to hold wizard select thread and start the edge location and select the starting phase then here it is not blind so select up to selection and select this surface then click ok now the material is given as mild steel so go to edit material and select the material as ASI1020 click close now save this the part number is 4 next create a new part finally I am going to draw the nut so select the top plane click sketch and select the polygon and draw the inner hole so go to smart dimension the whole dimension is given it is M12 and the outer dimension is not given so I am going to select it as 24 so click control select the center point and any one of the edge and make I mean point and make it as horizontal now it is fully constrained go to features click extruded boss and the extrude height is 12 mm next I am going to create the thread so go to hold wizard click thread so select the starting edge and next the starting surface and the end surface here I am going to extrude the thread so select trim width start face and trim width end face then click ok now apply the material go to edit material and apply the material as ASI 1020 click close now you can save this the part number is 5 next I am going to assemble it so click new and create a new assembly so starting from part number 1 then select insert components and select part number 2 now go to mate select these two regions and make it as concentric and select lock rotation then again go to insert components so next I am going to insert the third component so to easily assemble this I am going to 
hide the second component go to mate select the surface and here and make it as coincident then select these two surfaces and make it as concentric with lock rotation now you can click here and you can show the components next i am going to insert the stud so click mate and select this edge similarly the top edge and make it as concentric with lock rotation click ok then select this surface and the next surface and make it as coincident now go to insert component and insert the stud again so go to mate select this edge and the top edge of the hole and make it as concentric with lock rotation then select these two surfaces and make it as coincident click ok now i can easily move these components so to fix this i'm going to select mate i'm going to select these two regions and i'm going to provide a distance of 20 mm between them so finally i'm going to insert my fifth component that is nut now go to mate select the top edge and here also select the top edge and make it as concentric with lock, with lock rotation and select these two surfaces and make it as coincident now go to insert and insert the nut again now go to mate and select these two top edges and make it as concentric with lock rotation click ok then select these two surfaces and make it as coincident now we have created the assembly to evaluate this you can go to evaluate and you can select mass properties so here the mass is 3981.55 grams so you can also draw using the same dimensions and you can verify your solution thank you